Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and today we are experimenting with the Dutch Paw. The goal here is to compare hair dryers because I want to know if a hair dryer makes a difference to the outcome of the Dutch Paw. Um, so everything will be the same uh, for the paints um, but the hair dryers will be different. Now when I started practicing the Dutch Paw I was using one that I had at home. Uh, this one's a powerful 2200 watt hair dryer. Uh, this one is the one I went on to next and you can see by the state of it the one I've used the most. Uh, this one is a 1600 watt hair dryer and I've just purchased this new one which is also 1600 watts. Now the difference in the condensers um, can see this is quite wide and thin. Uh, this one is deeper. So this one's got more width this way, but this one's got more width this way. And then the new one is basically the difference in these two is the difference in the size of the condenser. So this one's a lot narrower. So the problem I was having with this one was on the low speed, it wasn't powerful enough but on the high speed it was probably slightly too powerful so I'm hoping with this one being thinner that the low speed might be perfect but we'll have to wait and see I'm going to start with this one then move on to this and then finish up on hopefully my new favorite hairdryer these are my canvases so these are 10 by 10 each with the deep base they're the canvases that I'm going to be using for this uh, my colours here, I have um, a titanium white, this is Amsterdam, um, and that's the consistency of the paint. So it's quite runny. Uh, these are pretty runny as well. So um, I have a, oh, this is a new colour that I bought. It's called Permanent Blue Violet. Um, this one's Phalo Blue. And this one is King's Blue with a bit of Liquitex uh, Iridescent White. And this one is Ultramarine Violet with a little bit of Iridescent White. And then we have the Amsterdam Gold. So they're all Amsterdam colours. I did add a tiny bit of 24 karat gold to the gold and a little bit of this Amethyst into the purple there. But uh, yeah, I want to keep all the paints the same. The pouring medium that's in these is, um, I don't really know. <laughs> so basically I had some pouring medium left that I'd made up ages ago, uh, which was three parts Liquitex pouring medium, three parts Torben Sunproof, and four parts Floetrol. I've added extra Floetrol and water so um i can't really tell you what's exactly in this but uh so long as they're all a similar consistency and i use the same stuff on each canvas the test will turn out fine so let's get started okay so we're going to start off with the visa soon salon professional now um so this is the 2200 watts I've had this for a while, so I don't know if it's still available, but um, I don't expect this one's going to be the best one, but you never know. That's why we're doing an experiment. So uh, I'm going to use it to also blow out the white. Now remember with this experiment, oh, there's my tweezers, that um, I'm not a professional at the Dutch for. Look at all those bubbles. I'm going to blow this out with the dryer and then I'm going to put this one on low. Thank you. 
Now that's very interesting because I'm just going to cover up my edges because um, I think last time I used this my consistency of my paints were probably thicker so I hadn't done very many and that actually seemed to flow quite well well, wouldn't it be funny if I decided to go back to my original hairdryer, but on the uh, on the low level? That would be interesting. I wonder if I should pick some of this up because I need to save some of this. I think. I'm not sure if I've got enough white. I want to pick this up before it gets other colors in it. I actually think that's the best blowout I've done. I am very surprised. Let's get our colors down. Uh, I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with purple and I'm going to put it off center a bit. I'm going to go light purple. Phalo blue. Light blue. and a drizzle of gold on the top. So far this experiment looks great. Now, a little bit of this around the outside. I'm gonna blow this way, and then I'm gonna try and fan out that way. Like I said, I've never had a huge amount of luck with Dutch boards, so it's interesting. Okay, now if you know me, I like to fiddle afterwards and I've got this handy straw, but because we're doing an experiment, I'm going to leave that right to the end. I want to get them all done first so I can do a comparison. So let's put that aside, getting lots of lovely cells. It didn't get a lot of gold. But I'm going to have to do all these the same now. Hair dryer two. All right. Put the white down. And let's spread that out. See, it doesn't really move the paint very well, does it? So, that's why I always end up going on the next one. I have to say, so far, the handling, I prefer the first hair dryer. It's an aeroplane. All right, let's do the same order. So we've got the... Then the light purple. Halo blue. 
light blue and some gold. Add a bit of white around the outside. And here we go. So I'm going to put this on high, this one. Mm. So that one's splattered a bit more. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, I'll move that one to the side. And let's bring out our third one. So that last one was the Anko, and I used it on the 1600 watt speed. The lower speed's 1200, and it's the same with this one, which I haven't used before. So let's try this. Oh, it's got a funny sound to it. I'm gonna try this on low, because it's a, it's a smaller surface area for the air to come out. There's something in there. All right, do we have any white left that I can scavenge? Now, okay, so that one to me, I'm so glad I'm doing this experiment. Because I get to feel what they all feel like um, to handle and using the same type of paint, it's the same consistency of paint. It's hard when you've got when you're learning the Dutch pour and you're trying different consistencies of paint because you're not really sure what you're doing. <laughs> but uh, you can pair like for like. So this is cool so far. This feels like the first one, but the first one is a much more powerful dryer. That's interesting. Similar type of condenser though. All right, let's put our colors on and same again. And the reason I'm doing it exactly the same, normally I like variety, but because I'm doing a test, I have to do it, keep it all the same. I can't tell you whether the amount of paint is exactly the same, but it's similar. There might actually be more paint on this one. It's not a good way to do it. Paint around the outside. And we'll go this way first. Here we go. Okay, interesting. Right, I'm gonna bring each of them back into the screen now, so hopefully you can see them all. This one I went over a couple of times, so I think that might have made a little bit of a difference. Right, let's have a look. All right, there we go. So this was the 220 watt. This was the 1600, something in there. Um, and then this one was on the lower speed. Ooh. I might have sprayed some of that on there accidentally. So this has got, I don't know if you could hear the motor on that new one, but I wonder if that's why 
we've got more of this squiggly line here this one I, I don't like the control that I had on that I had a lot more control with my very first hairdryer very interesting I like this one the best and I want to have a bit more of a play with that this one's got some interest I'm not liking this middle so all right well that's it for the experiment but now I'm gonna have a play I want to add a little bit let's start with the first one because this is the prettiest to me I'd love to know what you guys think which one you think is the prettiest um, I don't know how much is un left under here because I would like to see a bit of color going that way I'm gonna drop a bit of blue hello blue and some gold and then I'm going to blow that out but there could be some paint under there still don't really want to lose all my cells Put a little bit of white paint. perfect but it's a good start now number two there's definitely something missing here in the middle do I want to blow again I might try blowing this without adding paint and see what's under here Quite interesting over here. I'm not sure if I want that. I can just pour white on it. Let's see if I can get rid of this. Ah, look at that. It's like an eraser. I've seen people do it. I thought, mm. <gasps> look. That's cool. Great tip there. Adding gold to this one. I can't really mess much with that. I would like to see maybe something here. I'm going to put a little bit of blue, yellow blue. Hmm. On the side, so that was number two, and then we have number three, just got the real wispy bits, real sort of like it's quite jiggly. I don't know, I'm gonna have to watch the video back and see if I went like this more, like gave it a wiggle or something to create that. So I'm not quite sure. All right, I'm going to add gold to this one. Uh, and the blue again. I kind of like that through there. It's like a little flower inside. 
Let's see if we can draw. Like, you know. I don't know, something like that. Maybe a couple of little dots. I'm just being random. No, that's what I like to do. As for the rest of it, I think it's quite an interesting effect. Uh, I'm just tidying that up. Maybe I need to take that off. It's like a flower coming out of a bigger flower or something. I don't know. Alright, I will bring you in for a wet look. Having said that, you know, sometimes I just can't help fiddling afterwards and I'm not satisfied with this one. This was the second one. I didn't add any gold. So, let's add a bit of gold. better already. I think I might take that corner off with the white as well. Okay. I will bring you in for the wet result. This is fascinating. I don't know if any of you guys are thinking this is fascinating, but looking at them after I blew with the straw, you know, there's not a huge amount of difference in the way they actually came out. But I definitely felt like two of them handled better. So let's have a look at the first one. So this was my original hairdryer, the higher powered one that I used on the low um, setting. And I didn't have to do much with this. I actually found it quite easy to handle and I was happy with my sort of first blowouts kind of thing. I didn't feel like I needed to go back over it like I did some of the others. There's some pretty little cells in here. I wonder how much they'll open up. You know what? I didn't torch it. Let's give it a little torch. Oh, and I've just dropped a hair in there. So, there's my tweezers. Oh, looks like a lot of hair, actually. If you can see that, this is probably going to ruin it. Uh, my little, little bow in there. Oh, well. Okay, so, that's annoying. <laughs> it's going to annoy me now. Hmm. Anyway, so that's that one. Then we had the one that I've used probably the most and I found it more difficult to use. Um, it seemed to have more, like on the low speed, like I said, it just hardly moved the paint. And then when I put it on the high speed, it was too much. Whereas this one I did on the low speed and it has a thinner condenser. Whereas this one has the thicker condenser. Um, and on the high speed, it just went, I didn't like it very much. But having said that, the end result looks interesting. Then we had this one, which is my new hairdryer, which is given these wiggle effects, quite pretty. So I did go over this one a few times, um, but that could just be, you know, not having enough practice in using the hair dryers and the angles of where to blow the paint, etc. And I've never used that hair dryer before, so I didn't know how it was going to react. You know, it's got quite a few cells.
and then I did the little the little flower in the middle which is a really interesting cell just there can you see that Pretty interesting so yeah straws are great um, and I'll bring you back when it's dry and we'll have a bit more of a chat okay here is the dry result and uh, I'll tell you this one here I fiddled with after no surprises there I just added a couple of these squiggles in just to give that center a little bit more character but they've all turned out quite nice they're all got their own little character so um, I don't know if we can see a bit of a little bit of shine not a huge amount my conclusions I guess are that um, they all handled a little bit different uh, the hair dryers this one handled really well Oh, just having a look at this through here. Yeah, I guess you want to see it a little bit closer. So I'll bring you in close for each one. So this one handled quite well. Um, this was on the low speed of the more powerful one. And uh, I want to have another go with this hair dryer. This one here handled the worst. Um, the low speed was too low, the high speed was too high, but the end result has still turned out quite nice. So, yeah. And then this one here, that was the new hairdryer, and I did that one on the low speed. And um, that handled well, but it's given me some really interesting effects. So... Oh, I quite like the way the flower turned out in the middle. There's that funky cell. Yeah, so look, I mean, they're all a little bit different and they all work. Um, just the two on the ends were easier to handle and you can only find that out by trying out your own hair dryer yourself. So I'd say use whatever hair dryer you've got uh, for now um, if you're getting frustrated with it then try a different one uh, but I think one of the biggest things is consistency in your paint so I would check that first because if it's too thick that could be a problem and I think I had the consistency pretty good on this that's probably why they all worked worked out so I hope you enjoyed that video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, would like to see me do maybe another Dutch pour. I think I will. I think I'll do the next one will be a Dutch pour. Um, I actually scraped up all my paints from um, the leftovers and it made a really pretty colour. Actually, I have it right here. Made up this really pretty colour. A bit hard to see. That needs a mix. So um, I might do a split base Dutch pour with that. Okay, so um, that's it for now. And uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.